It is so good to be here, because I have only been talking to college students for the last four months. Oh my God. It is so nice to just be here and be talking to real sad people. You know what I mean? Like, oh, they have hope in their eyes. It's fucking gross. And here's the thing, I didn't know this. Did you know that college kids drink for fun and not to forget? Did you guys know that? That's insane. Like, I remember when I was in college, I would drink whatever to get fucked up, right? I'd be like, gin and tonic, hell yeah. Vodka soda, fuck yeah. Ethanol and Fanta, let's party. I can't do that anymore. I'm 32, okay? I go to bed at 10 p.m. every night so I can wake up at six in the morning and listen to motivational tapes so I have a reason to live. That's all I do now. And it bums me out, because recently my favorite one, Tony Robbins, got me a toot. Did you hear the news? Is anyone surprised? No, people pay $80,000 to go to their seminars, okay? If there's not a weird satanic sex orgy going on, it's a waste of my fucking money, okay? <laughs> he got me too, I got really sad about it. And look, we're all monsters. Everyone in Hollywood is a fucking monster. In two years, the only people we'll have left are gonna be Lin-Manuel Miranda and a Muppet. Those are the only ones, okay? And not even a good one. Gonzo, he fucks chickens, okay? <laughs> Miss Piggy is an abuser, and Kermit, he's a beta male. No one fucking likes Kermit, all right? He's a cuck, we all know that. Yeah, man. I mean, here's the thing, is that when it comes to drinking, the one thing I really hate hearing is people saying that lady drinks, right? Girly drinks are somehow the weaker drink. That's bullshit because I have never been more fucked up in my life than off a girly drink, right? Beer, that's shit. <laughs> yeah, I could drink 12 beers, pass out, wake up in a fountain, smell like a yeast infection, yeah. I could do that. Or I can drink two thirds of an apple teeny, black out, wake up, I've started a small business, okay? <laughs> I just wake up, I'm like, oh shit, did I incorporate again last night? Oh man, so much paperwork. These dudes in my bed, they're my shareholders, okay? We have a meeting coming up. The other thing I don't like, I don't like stereotypes, right? I, I hate this concept of big dick energy, right? You guys know what I'm talking about. And I'll tell you why I don't like it, because it's not real, okay? I've met people with big dicks. They are weird, quiet, never make eye contact. That is every person with a big dick, okay? What you have is medium penis power at best. And I get it, right? It's heavy, they can't make eye contact. They're just like, oh my God. <sighs> I saw a boob today, I am wiped, oh my God. <laughs> It's true. I went on a date with a guy. During the date, he said, I just finished reading a book on how to not be awkward. <laughs> and I first thought was, oh man, I gotta go buy lube now. Like, that's, my night's ruined, okay? I've gotta call out of work. I don't even have a job to go to, okay? I was just gonna call an office and be like, hi, I can't come in today. I encountered a giant dick. And they were gonna be like, who are you? And I would say, a hero, click. <laughs> Living in LA has really screwed me up. Anyone else? This place is weird, okay? I didn't realize what a bubble we live in until I left. I was doing a show in Johnson City, Tennessee, and uh, I was on stage talking about the healing powers of crystals. <laughs> Then I saw the look of horror on everyone's face, and I was like, oh, they think I'm talking about meth. Because everywhere else in the country, LA, Crystal is meth, okay? I was on stage being like, 
oh my god, the healing powers of crystals. And they're just like, crystal ruined my family. Like it was <laughs> such a different experience. I also learned about this thing living in LA called sex magic. Have you guys heard of it? Okay, get ready for your minds to be blown, okay? <laughs> sex magic is the act of harnessing the power of your orgasm to achieve your goals. <laughs> That's it. It's just masturbating the things that you want. It's like a vision board in your pants, you know? Like, you need to cut up magazines or anything. Which I love this concept, because that means if you get caught by your partner masturbating, you can just be like, uh, pfft, whatever, babe, I was just casting spells, okay? I was just casting some spells. I'm trying to get us a house. What the fuck are you doing, okay? You're lazy, not me. I know after the show, some of you are gonna go home and you're gonna be like, uh, screenplay. I get it. I get it. Oh, get that call back. Ugh. Or somebody just gonna be like, $50 gift card from Starbucks. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> whatever you wanna fuck too. <laughs> I'll leave you guys with this little PSA. Um, I am a lady with endometriosis. Any, any of my other endo ladies, huh? Great, good to hear it. So what this is, if you don't know, it's a condition where my uterine lining grows on other parts of my body. Right, like what a shitty superpower to have. Like when they were giving out mutant powers, they were just like storm, weather, cyclops, I shit. Jenny, you're not gonna like this. <laughs> and it's just, a, it's just more proof of like how complicated the female body is. Like I can grow other parts of my organs everywhere else. A dick is gonna grow one place. It's not changing. There's never gonna be a doctor's appointment where the doctor's like, Mr. Davis, the results came back. It's exactly what we expected. You have a dick growing on the inside of your lung. <laughs> and he's just like, oh my God, what are my options, doctor? Well, you can either have a high five or a fist bump, cause that shit is cool. You have a dick in your lung, dude. Am I gonna die? Oh, for sure. You're for sure gonna die. You have a dick in your lung, come on. Every time he gets a boner, he coughs. Come on, it's great. It's a great visual. But truly, I gotta take care of myself, right? I gotta take care of all that stuff down there. Don't wanna get pregnant, so I have an IUD. Okay, some of you do know what that is. If you don't know what it is, an IUD is a form of birth control. It's this little plastic tea that they put in your uterus using a t-shirt cannon. 